Welcome to Simple Investing Secrets. In today's video, we're going to review 10 high yield stocks with growing dividends in 2023. So before we start, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for weekly updates. Let's get started. High dividend stocks appeal to many investors in retirement because they provide substantial passive income. And unlike the fixed interest paid from bonds, dividends can grow each year to help combat inflation. In an environment of historically high inflation, high-yield dividend stocks may become increasingly appealing to long-term investors looking to weather the storm. Unfortunately, not every high-yield dividend stock is capable of maintaining its yield. When a company gets in financial trouble, cutting dividend payouts is often one of the first ways it chooses to right the ship. Two of the best ways to judge the sustainability of a high dividend yield is to look at a company's balance sheet and its long-term dividend track record. Here are 10 stocks to buy with dividend yields of at least 4% that have increased their dividends by an average of at least 10% annually over the past 5 years, according to Morningstar analysts. Number 10. Main Street Capital, ticker, MAIN. Dividend yield, 7.3%. Main Street Capital, founded in Texas in 1997 is one of the oldest and largest business development companies, BDCs, in the industry. The stock is also a monthly dividend payer. As a BDC, Main Street provides debt and equity capital to relatively small, highly leveraged companies that can't tap traditional financing from banks. This is a cyclical business since loan default spike during economic downturns. Paired with the high leverage and aggressive payout ratios maintained by most BDCs, few firms have shown an ability to defend their dividends when the tide goes out. Main Street is an exception. The firm has never reduced its regular dividends since making its first payout in 2007 a stretch that includes two recessions. To keep its high dividends safe, Main Street maintains a well-diversified loan portfolio with around 150 companies represented. Main Street focuses on first lien secured loans as well. This debt is paid back first in the event of a default, reducing the potential for major loan losses during recessions. Management also runs the business with much less debt than regulators allow, helping the firm earn a BBB credit rating. That said, Investors considering Main Street for its high dividend need a strong stomach for volatility given the risks associated with its investments in subprime debt securities. But Main Street is arguably the most conservative high dividend stock in the industry. Number 9. Arbor Realty Trust Ticker, ABR. Dividend Yield, 12.1%. Formed in 2003 with a small portfolio of structured real estate loans, Arbor Realty Trust has grown to become one of the most diversified mortgage REITs in the industry. Today, structured loans continue to account for around one-third of Arbor's earnings. This business provides floating rate bridge loans to real estate owners and developers so they can buy properties until they obtain permanent financing, for example a conventional mortgage. Arbor mitigates some of the risk associated with lending to subprime borrowers by focusing on recession-resistant apartments, securing its bridge loans with first mortgage liens on the properties, and requiring borrowers to post reserves. These strategies reduce the risk of major credit losses. Outside of bridge loans, Arbor has a large agency business. This segment earns fees by originating, selling, and servicing multifamily mortgages, most of which are guaranteed by government-sponsored organizations such as Fannie Mae. While mortgage originations have plunged with interest rates shooting higher, Arbor generates most of its revenue from recurring fees tied to collecting mortgage payments and sending them to the originator. This annuity-like business provides more reliable cash flow and reduces Arbor's sensitivity to interesting rates in its highly leveraged lending business. Overall, Arbor's diversified earnings stream, relatively conservative payout ratio and focus on a more defensive area of real estate make the mortgage REIT one of the best high dividend stocks in this volatile and complex industry. Number 8. Citigroup Incorporated, ticker, C. Citigroup is a diversified, global bank and financial services company. Analyst Eric Compton says Citigroup's earnings will likely continue to be messy for some time, but investors should ignore the short-term noise and focus on core operations. Compton says the company's guidance for between 7% and 8% 2023 revenue growth is within reach. Citigroup was Compton's top stock pick at the beginning of 2022, but the stock was down more than 28% last year. Citigroup pays a 4.4% dividend yield. Morningstar has a buy rating and a $75 fair value estimate for C stock, which closed at $46.75 on January 5, 2023. Number 7. U.S. Bancorp, ticker, USB. 
U.S. Bancorp is one of the largest U.S. banks and has a diversified business model that includes traditional banking, wealth management, insurance, securities and payment services. Compton says U.S. Bancorp is one of the best-run regional banks. He says the company has diversified fee revenue, and few competitors can match its operating efficiency. Over the past 15 years, U.S. Bancorp has consistently generated returns on equity that are well above its peer group. U.S. Bancorp has a 4.2% dividend yield. Morningstar has a buy rating and $60 fair value estimate for USB stock, which closed at $45.67 on January 5, 2023. Number 6. Truist Financial Corporation, ticker, TFC. Truist Financial is a U.S. regional bank that offers consumer and commercial banking, investment services and insurance in the Southeast and Mid-Atlantic regions. Compton says that the bank's merger-related costs will essentially disappear in 2023 and that Truist is one of the most competitive regional banks in the U.S. Compton says the company's insurance growth engine is unique among regional U.S. banks, and he projects the unit will generate multiple billions of dollars in loan originations in coming years. Truist has a 4.7% dividend yield. Morningstar has a buy rating and $60 fair value estimate for TFC stock, which closed at $44.44 on January 5, 2023. Number 5. Fifth Third Bancorp, ticker, FITB. Fifth Third Bancorp is a U.S. regional bank that offers retail and commercial banking, asset management and consumer lending services. Compton says Fifth Third is one of the most stable banking franchises in the Midwest, including impressive deposit shares in major Ohio and Michigan cities. Analyst Eric Compton says recent pressure on fee income is cyclical, and he remains skeptical that the Fed funds rate will remain above 2.5%. In the near term, net interest income will continue to offset the bank's fee slowdown. Fifth Third has a 4% dividend yield. Morningstar has a buy rating and $44 fair value estimate for FITB stock, which closed at $33.13 on January 5, 2023. Number 4. Huntington Bankshares Incorporated, ticker, HBAN. Huntington Bankshares is a U.S. regional bank offering full-service consumer and commercial banking, insurance, brokerage services and investment management mostly in the Midwest region. Compton says Huntington has completed several opportunistic bolt-on acquisitions in recent years to help expand its capital markets unit. In addition, the bank's 2021 acquisition of TCF Financial helped Huntington cut costs significantly. Compton says Huntington may fall short of its goal of at least 17% returns on common equity, but its stock remains undervalued nonetheless. Huntington has a 4.4% dividend yield. Morningstar has a buy rating and $16 fair value estimate for HBAN stock which closed at $14.26 on January 5, 2023. Number 3. Best Buy Company Incorporated, ticker, BBY. Best Buy is a leading consumer electronics and entertainment software retailer. Analyst Sean Dunlop says the next few quarters may be bumpy for Best Buy investors, but the company's underlying business remains quite strong. The consumer electronics market is extremely competitive, but Dunlop says Best Buy's in-store fulfillment and post-sale services differentiate it from competitors. The company also has a strong online presence, generating 31% of total sales online through the first three quarters of 2022. Best Buy has a 4.3% dividend yield. Morningstar has a buy rating and $104 fair value estimate for BBY stock, which closed at $81.51 on January 5, 2023. Number 2. KeyCorp, ticker, KEY. KeyCorp is a U.S. regional bank that provides consumer and commercial banking, investment banking and real estate capital services primarily in the West, Midwest, and Northeast. Compton says KeyCorp's credit quality, credit-related costs and overall operational efficiency have improved significantly since the 2008 global financial crisis. In addition, he says KeyCorp's 2016 acquisition of First Niagara helped improve KeyCorp's scale and efficiency. He is also bullish on the bank's more recent acquisitions, including Hello Wallet, Laurel Road and Zup Payments. KeyCorp has a 4.6% dividend yield. Morningstar has a buy rating and $24 fair value estimate for key stock, which closed at $17.84 on January 5, 2023. Number 1. Comerica Incorporated, ticker, CMA. Comerica is a U.S. regional bank and middle market lender based in Texas that also has a strong banking presence in Michigan.
Compton is bullish on Comerica's strategy of generating value by cultivating deep, advisor-style relationships with small and mid-sized business customers. Analyst Eric Compton says Comerica's payment and wealth management fee revenues will also help the bank out earn its cost of capital over the long haul. In fact, he anticipates Comerica will be one of the biggest beneficiaries of higher interest rates. Comerica has a 4.1% dividend yield. Morningstar has a buy rating and $88 fair value estimate for CMA stock, which closed at $66.06 on January 5, 2023. This concludes our list of 10 high-yield stocks with growing dividends. As always, it is essential to do your due diligence before committing your hard-earned cash to buying stocks or investing in the market. Remember to like this video and subscribe to our channel for weekly updates on the best stocks to buy and cutting-edge investment strategies for building wealth. Thanks for watching, and best of luck with your investments.